I, I'll tell you what, though. I have had my criticisms of the Trump campaign a lot. I've been critical of Donald Trump. Um, yeah, when he deserves like it. And I've propped him up when he deserves it. But I will tell you this. I think long term. Yes, I know we're talking about people like Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger and, and Congress people and congressmen and women like that getting thrown out in favor of the Trump movement. I think it, and it has cost the Republicans some seats early on. I think long term for the future of the country, it's like ripping the bandaid off. It needs to happen. I think we need to get these uniparty establishment swamp creatures the hell out of office. And if that means a Democrat takes their seat for a cycle or two, then you know what? So be it. We're going to have to deal with that. But the reality is, if we have a if we have two parties that serve the same master, which is the un, the establishment, the uniparty. Yeah, the uniparty serves the establishment. We're serves done. like BlackRock, Larry Fink, and all of them. If yeah. We, if the Republican Party can become the insurgency anti-establishment party, then we at least have a fighting chance in this. But right now, when we've got the Mitch McConnells and the Lindsey Graham's of the world that are just establishment, bomb the hell out of everybody. I just want to make money off my uh, my. My investments in military contractors were fucked because they will never actually represent us. At least now that Donald Trump's to, and, and once he's out of the public eye, it'll calm down a little bit. I think it'll, it'll be, be better. Once more he's reasonable. Done. Once he's done with the second term, I think it'll be better. But I think Donald Trump has done a great. The thing Donald Trump's done a great job at is weeding a lot of the establishment hacks out of the Republican Party, and that's going to be good for the country long term. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to click the link in the description to get the full episode on Rumble. If you prefer to listen along, you could actually get us on Spotify, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. You can also go to www.outlawstreamers.com to learn more about not just my show, but tons of other great shows and all the exciting projects they have coming up follow my socials at caleb isn't funny on twitter and instagram at caleb salvatore comedy on the chinese spy app that is tiktok and be sure to like and subscribe to this youtube channel thanks and we'll see you every saturday for brand new episodes of that's based peace